stop uh, with automatic braking and autonomous features inside the cars. And then we also saw a crash test of the XC90. It hits a ditch and then rolls a little bit. And the car itself is pretty much totaled, but the passengers are safe. And that's really cool too. I'm here in Sweden at the Astra Zero test facility where Volvo and hopefully in the future other manufacturers are testing cars and it's Astra which stands for Active Safety Test Area. So as opposed to reactive, uh, these cars can actually start to learn uh, through autonomous abilities uh, to avoid accidents before they actually happen. And Volvo says that each year 1.2 million people around the world uh, die in car accidents and 20 to 50 million people get seriously injured and by 2020 they want to prevent all serious accidents. Okay, so here we are in the downtown area of the Astro Zero testing facility, and this is an entire city that's actually, it's a fake city, it's got four buildings, and right here you can see behind us, one of the buildings is, is coated in a facade from Harlem, actually, so it's just a picture pasted on the building. And now this whole area here, and I'm standing right in front of a, a four-way intersection, uh, can be used to test uh, anything that you would uh, want to test for a car driving in a downtown situation. So say uh, Volvo wants to come here and test, you know, a construction scenario, so how does a driver uh, safely get through this construction zone when all of a sudden a pedestrian pops out. And so that's what they have here at this facility. They have these robots and, and dummies so uh, a pedestrian will pop out at any moment and then they'll teach the car and actually the car can learn uh, while it's on these courses and in areas like this. This is a really cool uh, downtown part of the Astra Zero facility. Okay, so you just saw how Volvo tests its cars for autonomous driving at the Astra Zero track. Now we're here at headquarters and we're going to watch how it actually tests its XC90 for safety uh, when it rolls into a ditch or actually hits a ditch. And you're going to see the car that's behind me right here is going to hit 50 miles an hour, run into the ditch behind me, and then crash pretty much right where I'm standing. So what we just saw was the XC90 coming through uh, 50 miles an hour, hit the ditch, jumped out of the ditch as you saw, and then settled behind me right now uh, against another embankment. And I spoke with one of the engineers, and what happened basically is uh, looks like the car might be totaled. He's not completely sure, but something probably the insurance company is going to want to take care of. Thankfully, though, everybody inside, he thinks, would probably have walked away from that accident uh, entirely. So I looked at the car. You had both airbags deployed. You also had the curtain side airbag deployed. And then the uh, infant in the back seat, the 18-month-old, uh, was protected with the uh, rear-facing seat. And it seems like everybody uh, would walk away from this if this was a real-world test. Okay, so the XC90 is the first uh, XC90 model that Volvo has completely redesigned in the last 12 years. Uh, it's got improved tech. That includes vehicle, cyclist, and pedestrian avoidance systems, which means the car will alert you and automatically avoid those kind of obstacles. And all of these things in the XC90 T8 twin engine come standard. They're not an option. It comes with everybody's. And it's also the world's first car with a new intersection avoidance system. So if you're taking a left turn uh, out of a parking lot and there's an incoming car, it'll slam the brakes automatically for you so that uh, that car will avoid you. So the Volvo XC90 has three modes, uh, including pure, hybrid, and power. The pure mode's all electric and you get about 40 kilometers of range. The hybrid mode features a 320 horsepower engine in addition to an 82 horsepower electric motor. And that's what Volvo says will give you the best performance. And then finally, there's also a power mode. That gives you priority on performance and response, and you can expect zero to 100 in about 5.9 seconds. The XC90 also includes a lot of safety features that Volvo worked on. That includes brand new seats with, uh, they put a new focus on occupant posture. So while you're sitting, uh, the idea is that when you get in an accident and the car uh, hits the air or lands really hard, uh, your posture is right, so you avoid spinal injuries uh, at the end of the crash. Okay, so that was a quick look at the Asta Zero track, the XC90 crash test, and the XC90 T8 twin engine. Hope you guys liked the video. We'll see you the next one. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos from Techno Buffalo, hit the big subscription button right here. And if you want to see us play games, and I'll admit it, sometimes not so well, check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo.